So we need to catch wall rain up here. We're gonna grab Salamence just because I want to, because I love Salamence. Good Pokemon. Please let me make it to this one. I think I always go for this one, and a lot of times I get caught going to it. Now, here's the mistake I always make. Do not go from this one straight to the exit. You have to go to this one on the right. You might not have to, but I feel like if you don't go to this one on the right, normally I get caught by the avalanche and I get mad. Yeah, Salamence is behind the giant ice chunk. Yeah, we've already melted the ice chunk and caught him before, so we can go catch him at our ledger now. So we got to get Wall Rain. We got to get Nine Tails. Do not fly off the mountain after you get nine tails because screw off sneasel because we have to take it back down to the dude or actually once we catch nine tails it might warp us back to him so let's catch uh catch wall rain definitely first hopefully catch salvage first as well empoleon i love you good pokemon all right hi glaceon empoleon please stop Very careful here. Celio, please don't annoy me. You annoyed me last time I was here. Thank you for not falling off. Let's grab Salamence real fast. Hey, bud. Can't touch this. Whoops. Got him. Easy S rank. As if I didn't already have one. Go fast before the Celio sees you. Okay. Wall Rain. I have never caught you, apparently. I'm amazed I didn't because I love Wall Rain. I don't know why I wouldn't have caught him earlier. But you count as uh, ice, not water. Get burned. Too easy. I should have done a charge capture. I could have S ranked him. Oh, yeah. I missed the S rank by one on Fort. All right, we got Wall Rain though. You know what? Yeah, bring Wall Rain in. I love Wall Rain. Low Tad, get lost. Uh, Heracross, I think we've kept you with us long enough, buddy. I'm gonna keep Turtwig until I have to get rid of him for like the Peachy or something, because I love Turtwig. That poor Heracross, we've released him up in this frozen tundra. He's gonna like die. Nine Tails, come here. This is why I got rid of two Pokemon. I needed space for Nine Tails here really annoying that you did a move like that. There we go. That might have been an S rank. It was. Alright, do I have to go back to the man manually? I do. That's fine. Drop me off the edge. Take me back to the entrance. Oh, it took me back to Salamence's door. That makes sense. Celio. Why must you be this way? I just want to... I have places to be, man. This is like the second time you've inconvenienced me like this. I do like that he claps his hands before using his move. Alright, goodbye. It's very adorable. Don't fall off. Don't Just don't fall off. Okay, good, good, good. Go, 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 go. Get me out. Get me out. I think you can jump down. Yeah, you can jump down really fast right here. Thank goodness. Whoop! Ah, Empoleon, please. I just, I despise having to go do anything on Mount Sorbet. It is such a hassle every time. Between the avalanche and the way all these angry Pokemon are set up. Ow. Please leave me alone. Literally just passing through. Also, I think we can jump down right here, actually, to go a bit quicker. Hey, Obama Snow. I love it when Lure misses and my one laugh goes sad. Very unfortunate. You knew what you signed up for, little Duke, making a one laugh tune, you madman. Literally could never be me. <laughs> I, I would absolutely hate Toontown with, like... A one laugh or even a 15 laugh Uber, I would just be like, man, this sucks. <laughs> I, I would hate it. All right, I got your nine tails. Nine tails is safe, that's good news. I knew you could do it. Thank you, Ranger. 
Uh, I don't think we can call Latios unless we go up to where Articuno was or we just leave the long way. So I think it, I think with where we are right now, it's going to be faster to go down instead of go up. Yeah, because I can't use the symbol thing here. I think it's going to be faster to go down because then we don't have to go through the avalanche thing. There's a Deli Bird down here. I've already caught Deli Bird. We already know what Pokemon we're missing and what we still have to capture. All right, so chat, you said Blissey was in the old mansion, right? We should probably go drop by the old mansion next and catch Blissey and get that done. And then Fione is in the canal ruins? I'm not too worried about the like three side quests we have left right now because those can be done at any time. Now I'm kind of, now I've shifted to like, hey, we have every request accepted. So now we may as well take our time to, uh, to finish catching all the Pokemon and then do the last of the side quests. Of all the Ranger games, which is your favorite? The one I'm currently playing. Guardian Signs is my favorite of all the uh, Ranger games. I like how they do assists in this game a lot better than in Almia. But Almia is also very good. Either of those two is a good pick. I do like the first Pokemon Ranger, but just like Almia and Guardian Signs are leagues better than the first Ranger game. I'm up. Ooh, I'm... Hold up. I just, uh, I just happened to look down at my 3DS and realized I did not plug in the charger, and it's on red. Hold up a second, chat. I gotta get the charger plugged in, and I'm gonna have to move away from the mic, so I'm gonna mute real quick. was close. That would have been disastrous. Would have been very bad. Let's go to Tilakuli Island to take care of Latias, and then we'll drop by... Actually, yeah, we will focus on the side quest again for a second. We're gonna drop by Mount Layuda to get, uh... To get whatchamacallit. Drop by Mount Layuda to get, uh, Electivire for that guy. Hey, dude. I've been waiting for you solo. Can you call Latios? Yeah, sure. So, Latios, call Latias now. So, solo, try to capture it. All right, here we go. I believe this is the last... Yeah, this is the last legendary we have to capture before the uh, post-game... Like, the post-finale legendary, the final, final boss. Latias has appeared. Let's go. Here we go, boys. Pretty sure Latias's gameplay is like the exact same as Latios, so should be really easy to capture. Oh, I was not expecting that. We're still definitely going to S-rank, though, because you get bonus points just for Latias being a boss. So as long as we uh, charge capture, we'll win. Dang it. I hate you. Stop being so fast. Also, yeah, I was about to say, stop having the laser balls around your body. Thanks. There we go. Fione is not a legendary Pokemon. Fione is a mistake, if anything. Hey, S-rank. There you have it. Another one registered. It was an excellent capture. I see that your friendship with Pokemon is so strong. You've grown so much. See you again, Solo. I'm looking forward to meeting you again. No, you're not, because they made it where you can't, like, do the online stuff anymore, so I'm not going to do the online stuff that involves you, even though I'd really love to. Yeah, recharge my style. Why not? I haven't done that, like, all day today. Also save the game, just in case. 
How are mythical Pokemon different from legendaries? The term myth mythical Pokemon is stupid, and I refuse to acknowledge it. Pokemon is either a legendary Pokemon or not. The end. I don't mind if people are like, well, Mew is a mythical Pokemon. That's fine. It's also a legendary Pokemon. And then if someone is like, no, it's not. It's not a legend. It's only mythical. I'm like, shut up. Just shut up and go away. Dude, I love Drapion's Cry. It's so good. All right, let's grab this Electivire for this old dude. And that'll be another side quest completed. Honestly, go ahead and shock me. I don't care. Wad's 10 damage. That's actually a hefty chunk. Maybe I should wait a second. Electivire is at the top right of this room, isn't he? So I think the fastest way out of here is going to be going back the way we just came. I did not mean to walk into you. Get mag mortared. Goodbye. Lurid Decay sucks. Yeah. I do very much believe that... Uh, Toontown Corporate Clash is, like, better than normal Toontown or Toontown Rewritten, whatever. However, I feel like Lure Decay was an unnecessary addition to the game. Just doesn't seem like it was needed. IMO. Hey, level 52. That is probably the last level up we'll get in the game, I think. Probably. Oh, we have Electivire and Magmortar. That's cute. It's possible that we could get one more level up. We're definitely not getting more. We're not getting... What are we? We're level 52 right now? We're not getting to level 54 in this playthrough. I'd be a little surprised if we even got to level 53 in this playthrough. Because there's so little less... So little left to do in the game. That... Okay, I was standing on the water there 100%, but the game gave it to me anyway. Not going to level 99, why? Because it's super boring and tedious. To get any higher level than this, all you do is, like, walk around and constantly battle Pokemon and, like, find a Pokemon that gives a lot of experience and then just capture it over and over and over and over again. It's, like, boring as heck. Getting to level 99 does nothing for you in this game. Nothing but waste your time. Alright, uh, take me to... Where are we going? We gotta take this Electivire to the old dude at Sophian Resort, so let's do that first. Actually, no, wait, let's go talk to Leanne first about Suicune, because then she might tell us to go back to Sophian Island to do something about Suicune. So let's go talk to her first. We'll just keep the Electivire on us. And then after... What, all we have left is the Pichu, right? We did the Nine Tails thing? Like, after we do this thing about Suicune, and then we give the guy the Electivire. All that's left is to find the other four Pichu. I gotta be real with you. I'm just gonna look on the side quest thing to tell me where the Pichu are and go get them. If it's an achievement, would you not do it? It's not an achievement. There aren't achievements in this game. This game doesn't have achievements. Also, no, I still would not do it because it's incredibly boring. If it, like, unlocked, like, a Pokemon to catch or something, like a final boss, then I would do it off-screen, probably. But even then, like, nah. Welcome. Are you working on a new mission? No? You're looking for Pichu? I don't see them around here. Oh, are you gonna tell me where to find more Pichu? That, actually, that makes it easier, then. I won't look at the answer if you actually give me some... some directioning. I didn't think the game would give me any more directions. I saw one. I remember that it was a night with a full moon. I think it was actually last night. You know the bridge just before the wireless tower? There was a Pichu sitting on it, looking up at the stars. I was just over at that. The, the Nyx Bridge, right? I was just over there. I love sitting there to watch the stars, too. That sounds like something very charming for a Pichu to do. Are you telling me you're charming, too? Haha, <laughs> I better go back to work. Why was that guy even here? Burkhart, what's wrong with being charming? Leanne, 
Going to different ruins is a fun thing to do. Do I have to, like, leave the house and come back in to trigger another cutscene with Leanne? Yeah, okay. Huh. Weber remembering me may be how this is going to get solved. That was a weird sentence. You are saying you know something, Leanne? I have a feeling that Suicune must be feeling sad because of its monument. You mean the monument with the envelope on it? That's right. The envelope was the key to opening the ancient gate. It also represents the strong bond between Pokemon and people. But Suicune's monument with its invalid was destroyed by the pinchers and still lies broken. I think that's why Suicune is sad. There were three monuments destroyed altogether, right? Soraiko and Entei must be feeling sad just like Suicune. Oh, do I actually have to go to all of the monuments again? I guess so. Going to Suicune's monument actually isn't that bad because it's right next to the canal ruins and that's where chat said Fiona is. Then all we have to do is fix all the monuments to cheer up Suicune, Entei, and Raiko. The pieces of Entei's and Suicune's monuments are in the hands of Red Eyes. He used to be a difficult one to convince, but he'll listen to you now. We just need to find where Red Eyes is. I'll try the radio. I'll adjust the tuning to try the entire frequency band. <laughs> what if he's not listening to a radio right now? It took me a while, sorry. I heard this cute voice, so was that you? <laughs> yes, it was me. Welcome, ex-bad guy. Did you bring those things? Ex-bad guy? That's kind of a harsh thing for a little girl like you to say. Here, these are the pieces of Entei's and Suicune's monuments. I've kept them not as souvenirs, but rather out of guilt for destroying them. Red Eyes, thank you for helping us. There is one more. Who has the piece missing from Raiko's monument? Purple Eyes used it to break open the seal to where Zapdos was sleeping. Given his personality, it may have ditched it somewhere in Mount Leuta. Oh, I've got to go back to Mount Leuta. He doesn't keep things once they're no longer needed. That's his style. Okay, ex-bad guy out. Later, Red Eyes. And you, girl, give me a call when you need me. Solo, I still remember the last battle with you. Now I know that it was a battle to save Oblivia. And I was meant to lose. Later. Now he's got to strike the pose first, of course. Alright, so you're going to make me go to Mount Leuta again? I did it! My new invention, I call it. Crazy cream that sticks to iron, plastic, stone, and everything else. You mean adhesive. There, Solo. You can fix the monuments with it. Yeah, whatever. Here we have two pieces. One is for the monument in Daybreak Ruins. The other is for the monument in the Canal Ruins. As for the last one, we need to look on Mount Leuta, as Red Eyes told us. Oh, wow. We're almost at three and a half hours. We might actually end up going a little over four hours. Depending on how long it takes to, like, find these Pichu and whatnot. Do We're gonna have to say goodbye to Walrein here when we get this Pichu. Where is it? Do I is it gonna like cutscene me or something? They said the Pichu was like right here. Do I have to roar it out? Alright, so I guess next let's go to Mount Leuta so we can just get the uh the invalid for Raiko, and then we'll go to each of the invalids one by one. Where oh, yeah, Pichu. Pichu? Where's this Pichu? Yeah, that's that's the forbidden one. Is this not the bridge they were talking about? Were they talking about the big Booker Bridge? I thought they were talking about this bridge. Maybe they were talking about the big Booker Bridge. But I feel like they would have called it the big Booker Bridge if that was the case. You know what? Let me I'm going to I'm just going to look. Just tell me where the Pichu are. We're getting close to four hours. I really don't want to go for five hours today. I just want to, you know, we're at the end of the playthrough. I just want to be done. I want to wrap up. All right, let me see here. Pichu, hidden outside of Booker's house. Got that. That's number one. Number two, meets you when you cross the bridge leading to the wireless tower. Do you mean, do they mean the bridge up right before the wireless tower? Like, oh, dang it. Screw off. The bridge with the electric. Yeah, that, okay, that bridge. While we're here and I've already got Raiko out, let's go get that Pichu real fast and we'll ditch, uh, we'll ditch Walrein for it. As much as I hate to. We're gonna end up having to get rid of Turtwig at some point, too. I know there's still a Pichu over at the volcano we have to go get. I really wish I had done a charge call on Raiko, but I probably was not expecting to be on Raiko for this long. Pichu? Okay, here we go. 
and then we can fly away from here. Hi, Pichu. Get over here, you little nerd. I must capture you. Easy. 